Good morning. I will present a pilot study about higher education students' perception and behavior during pandemic reality. My name is Carolina Pereira. I'm a student in the last year of integrated master in textile engineering degree and Filomena Suarez and Selena Leão are school authors of this study and teachers at the School of Engineering, University of Minho. The impact of coronavirus pandemic on the daily life of people and communities throughout the world was tremendous. Schools have closed, employees have been asked to work from home, reduced work hours, or, in the worst possible case scenario, job loss. In addition to these last examples, the pandemic also had an enormous impact on the university students. The main objective of this work is to analyze the behavior of students at the School of Engineering at the University of Minho in a state of pandemic and confinement to ascertain whether there are differences in attitudes and habits between genders through an online questionnaire developed to that purpose. The questionnaire includes two main parts. Part 1, Student characteriz Characterization and part two, a set of items divided into five topics, video conference classes, complementary activities, leisure time, psychological state, and domestic tasks. Based on a sample of 158 questionnaires, nevertheless is valid be considered relatively low. Compared with the total number of students in the School of Engineering, it will allow to carry out a preliminary analysis of students' behavior and habits before conducting and formulating a development project. The, the most of students that participate are male, the majority attend an integrated master degree, 8.9% and 5.7% a first and second cycle degree respectively, the remaining 5.1% a doctoral program. Concerning engineering course, a dispersion in the data was observed. With regards and country of origin, 97.5% come from, from Portugal. 29.9% 20, do not have a family member in telework or video conference classes. 48% do not share the same workspace with the family, and 58.1% mention it that they do not have younger siblings or other family members in need to care. In conclusion, it was observed that video classes finance distractions in students with makes face-to-face -face classes more effective. The students participating in organizations are more inclined to carry out complementary activities online. The female students are more physically active. Students are more underload, anxious and with more appetite. Hence, more than a third of female students report suffering from anxiety disorders compared to male students. Although these are uncertain times, as universities can continually strive to provide students high-quality teaching and consistent communication. <laughs> to do this, it is imperative that the institutions listen according to the needs of students and take advantage of the latest techn technological tools. Thank you.